my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today we're just going to do a quick emphasis on quick <laughs> energy check-in on your person okay we're just gonna see what's happening with them right now I know um, a lot of you might be feeling big shifts uh, a lot of you reported a lot of insomnia yesterday when I did that video so it looks like it could be the moon energies but I think just generally there are a lot of shifts that are happening in the world um, I would recommend that if you guys um, pray, do your grounding and meditation, I'm going to do it a little more often than usual because um, things are happening so fast. Um, you really do need to keep grounded. All right, so let's have a look. We're going to go into the emotional intelligence deck first. And let us see general emotional energy for your person. Let's see. Ooh, remorseful. All right, so we're going to clarify these and see what all these are about guys wow it's a big one crutch <laughs> sorry right so they're feeling a bit codependent right now actually they need a bit of a prop up <laughs> what's this apathetic so they're kind of numb whatever's happening in their life is making them feel kind of numb um, they're uncertain and they're still in people pleaser mode all right so let's see what this is about so I I'm getting a lot of mixed energies here let's see what's happening all right so let's clarify um spirit what are they remorseful about okay I'm probably releasing you <laughs> because we have the four of pentacles here letting you slip through their fingers it looks like yeah they're remorseful about not standing in their power not standing up for what they felt or what they believed in and in us in, at some particular point in time right so they're remorseful about that because they're, they're really feeling your energy i'm getting i'm getting that um they're particularly remorseful about any kind of deception from the past but they're still in some kind of self-denial um, that they have here that's kind of they're kind of using to build up their ego what's this about yeah so there's still a bit of illusion and self-denial that's going on that's preventing them from completely taking a leap of faith and making some sort of choice in love here yeah there's something that's happening that's still stroking their ego that they're holding on to that is stroking their ego oh some sort of financial investment is here okay and this person doesn't want any kind of conflict in life so there's some kind of financial investment that's here that's still propping up their ego they're still holding on to that okay that's still their crutch mm. apathetic what what's this about yeah okay so this person right now i think they're not logging in emotionally to anyone it looks like they are focusing solely on their healing and if they have to block out everyone else including you unfortunately or for or fortunately um, they're doing that um part of that um blocking out is also i'm um, getting rid of or blocking out a third party it looks like yeah this person saying goodbye to any kind of player ways um and saying goodbye to being inconsistent um and they're doing major healing right now yeah they're doing a lot of shadow work and a lot of secrets um about themselves and the other person in their life particularly maybe a karmic partner um are being revealed right now so it's, it's a, like a, it's a total bombardment it looks like so your person you know what i just have to focus on me right now that's what that's what's happening what are they uncertain about all right, so they're uncertain about you, the Empress. What exactly, Spirit? What aspect? Oh, whether you are going to make the effort or whether they should put the work in. They don't think that you're going to respond. Yeah, and that's why they're not communicating. They're uncertain of your response. They're uncertain if you're going to put in the effort in this connection or if you just, you know what? You've already said, fuck it yeah uh you see and what's really making them feel uncertain is this is abandonment issues the five of pentacles reversed is my abandonment issues can't they really can't deal with any kind of rejection from you so they would rather not come forward right they'd rather not try than try and fail 
right? So they're really uncertain. And what's this people please survive? Oh, they're ending a cycle of people pleasing. Beautiful. They're ending a cycle of people pleasing. So this thing where they're putting other people's needs, including your needs possibly, um, viewer, before their own, they're ending that cycle. And that's why they're kind of apathetic right now. They are blocking everyone out and really logging in to their needs and exactly where they need to heal. They're done with this people pleasing. Wow. That is interesting. All right, so let's look at their headspace regarding you right now. It looks like they're trying to block you out though and just focus on themselves right now. What's their headspace regarding you? And this is a tower of the new vision, which I absolutely love, guys. All right, so they're not ready to speak any kind of truth right now, buddy. <laughs> um, they're keeping that close to their chest. All right, so their headspace regarding you. What do we got here? We have this Knight of Swords, who's a Gemini. We have this Ace of Swords in re Ace of One, sorry, in reverse. We have a Queen of Cups in reverse, so you know that's a karmic, right? And we have a Nine of Wands in reverse sorry in in the upright okay so what am i getting here all right so this person is working on stepping into their their full power and their spiritual strength with this nine of wands here okay it looks like they're trying to build themselves up to come and deliver some kind of truth to you um they don't care how this truth comes out they just feel like they need to spill their guts and what they want to tell you is that it looks like it's over between them and some kind of karmic energy in their life. That's what I'm seeing here. Let me just give a little clarification here. What's this nine of wands? Yeah, it looks like they stepped into their spiritual power and there's some kind of family situation um, that's over. Um, they recognize that they weren't happy and that they had to make a move. They had to take action. And apparently the action that they took was to end it with some karmic. Let's see yeah it's some karmic that was with them only for their money right remember all my reverse court cards in this deck are karmic energies so this karmic was only with them for their money wasn't dependable wasn't given back to the situation um and it's it looks like it's done yeah um the divine came in and restored balance in that connection yeah your person woke up your person woke up and see what that person was doing they saw that this person, who is also represented by the Queen of Cups reverse, and the Queen of Cups karmic, she is, or he, is the emotionally abusive karmic. You know, the guilt trips, the histrionics, um, that psychological manipulation. Um, that's that karmic, right? So your person w woke up and saw exactly what that person was doing, and they ended things. That's what I'm seeing here, and that's what they want to come in and tell you. Let, let's pull a card directly on that Knight of Swords yeah he's coming to tell you that um this person's coming to tell you that they released a burden in their life that's what i'm seeing here guys let's see the heart space energy for you um we have the six of wands reversed six of wands reversed oh looks like somebody had an ego death um leo sagittarius aries energy Seven of Wands reversed. What is this? Ace of Cups reversed. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. And we have the Tower reversed Scorpio Aries energy. Let me pull a card and see what this tower is all about. I've gotten the rest of the message. They had some kind of epiphany here. Uh, okay, got it. Okay, so what I'm seeing is this person wants to come in and be vulnerable 
and you know give some kind of apology some kind of love offer here i think this person has had an ego death with a six of wands reverse so they're not feeling too confident so all that cocky attitude from before it's gone right so they want to come back they want to be vulnerable <clears throat> but their codependencies and their lack of self-love and their lack of confidence is really keeping them back remember we got this uncertain card they're uncertain of your reaction and i feel this person they're not going to make a move unless they know how you're going to react and they don't know how they're going to react but you know what that is also part of their journey to take that chance okay they can't come back to offer an apology just just because you're going to get back with them they have to offer that apology regardless because it's the right thing to do okay so this person now um those insecurities is what's holding them back but they're recognizing now and it hit them like a ball of lightning that they tried to walk away from you but they couldn't right so now they're coming back trying to offer some kind of apology here and in sense love of uh in uh, uh you see they can't even speak right a, a, a sincere love offer they want to um express themselves express their emotions but they don't feel like they're good enough for you they have their own insecurities bubbling inside okay but that's it that's their journey they have to deal with that okay that is their issue that's something that that's part of their journey something they need to resolve what's blocking union right now we have the eight of swords reverse so i'm getting that they're in the process or they've just freed themselves from another situation uh, and they just need the time alone to heal i mean that's healthy right they can't just jump from one situation um into you that's just rebound right so this process of freeing themselves um, might be still going on because even though you say it's over there are these energetic entanglements that need to be dealt with and i think that's where your person is at right now what's blocking um this connection or the union um insecurities especially fear of abandonment and fear of um, rejection and that could be quite frankly both of you guys because maybe you guys are mirroring each other right so if this person is afraid of rejection and abandonment most likely that's also your issue what's blocking this connection um somebody doesn't want any kind of arguments or fights or trauma <laughs> so they'd rather stay away And what's blocking this connection um somebody has already made a decision it looks like let me see yeah all right so somebody thinks they've been a fool and because they think they've been a fool they don't want to come forward but i'm also getting this process or rather this connection is being blocked by spirit to allow both of you guys to really listen to your intuition and take a chance um, on each other okay so i think spirit is blocking this connection right now as well to allow you guys um to align yourself to union energies all right so what is your person experiencing um on their soul journey right now what are they experiencing right now in terms of the spiritual end of the soul connection we have prayer or meditation this is interesting and it's the, the hand right the writing is in green so I'm, I'm i'm getting that they're really opening up their heart to spirit it looks like let's get another card let's get four we have social media well we know this is a lurker card right um we have dreams and we have unconditional love for twin all right so this is what's happening with them right now right now they're surrendering to prayer or meditation i think they're really opening up their heart to spirit or spirit is giving them some kind of heart chakra activation right now right i remember your heart is your power center it's a gateway to the upper chakras so once you open your heart especially when you open your heart to spirit not just to someone else um all these upper chakras start to come online okay your throat chakra your third eye and a crown chakra that's when you really start a channel 
clearly when you open up your heart to spirit so let me pull a card on that yeah i think this person might have been blocked before um they weren't listening to their intuition because their heart was blocked but now that they're surrendering to prayer and meditation and opening up that heart space that's how they're fully standing in their power especially their energetic and spiritual power okay so we see them here um there's something here with social media i'm getting that even though they're going through all these changes and trying to block to block everybody out um they're still keeping an eye on you it seems um on social media yeah um because they want to express their emotions they want to come up forward with some kind of proposal but they're trying to gauge um your attitude and your reaction um they're really in hermit mode i don't think you're even going to see them on social media they're probably not posting shit right they're really in hermit mode right now and, and, and i really do believe it's connected to something else um that has fallen apart um they're really healing right now look i see it here right they're doing some major healing okay so all this kind of player player vibes that they were in before it's done i'm getting that they're downloading a lot of dreams about you and a lot of dreams about their sole purpose um their life their mission um through the dream state i think spirit is giving them a lot of um insight um through their dreams or they might be connecting to you um through the dream world yeah yeah because this connection here um hasn't come together just yet i'm mean, getting that they're connecting they're getting a lot of um a lot of healing a lot of insight a lot of truth about this connection um through the dream realm yeah um what i'm also getting is because this person is afraid to come forward with a solid offer um they're making these offers or they're connecting to you um through their dreams through dreams um for some of them that they're, they're giving you telepathic messages that it's over with some karmic yeah or there's something being revealed about some kind of karmic energy in their life but i'm really getting they want to tell you that it's over with a karmic so a lot of you might be getting dreams about them coming forward um, and expressing their love and they're connecting to you in dreams because again there's abandonment issues insecurities surrounding rejection and then we have this card unconditional love for twin so you can say unconditional love for soulmate if you're not in a twin connection but that's what they're experiencing right now right i think they're holding back on their emotions right now right but that holding back is making them really frustrated because they have all these feelings um bubbled up inside or bottled up inside for you but they feel like they can't do anything about it right now um there's some third party that is ending um they're not happy but they're working on removing that toxic energy completely from their life um before they approach you they don't want to bring the drama to you i keep getting that message they don't want to bring the drama to you and they're giving me choo chills so i know that's exactly what's happening all right so um what is your person healing right now um this deck is my twin experience deck and this deck is the wounded warriors deck so what is your person healing right now all right so um for some of them um they're healing some issues with self-harm now self-harm can span span a whole lot of things um from cutting suicidal ideation and suicidal attempts um it can also mean like reckless behavior you know some people we say they have a death wish well some people you know they don't want to say directly that um they want to die but from their behaviors their risky behaviors um they put themselves in harm's way um so this person is healing that right now even the kind of toxic relationships that um they might have gotten into where it's incredibly violent but they stay um putting themselves in harm's way so all that they're healing and um, but it's all related to um a low self or a very poor self image i'm worthless i'm not worth anything right what else are they healing right now well this one fell on the ground let's see all right 
so a lot of them they are dealing with scarcity consciousness it says unsteady finances okay so um this person may have grown up whether they've grown up poor or rich but they've always thought that there's never enough finances to go around and maybe they've been making decisions based on that so may, making decisions based on the material world or their relationships they've made no decisions based on the material world so they're healing that scarcity consciousness in order to make healthy um decisions in the future what are they healing heartbreak oh and now this is not necessarily fresh heartbreak but i think it's part fresh heartbreak but even heartbreak from childhood their first heartbreak whether it's with their mother or father figure whatever it is they're healing that right now and what else are they healing guilt whether it's guilt over the um connection with you or there's something that they feel they need to be punished for it could be something that they did in childhood something they did as a teenager or a younger adult but there's something that they've been carrying around guilt for um they're healing this because this might have also contributed to their self-harm behaviors okay because when you feel guilty you know you feel like you need to be punished right this person um, might have felt that you know what if i lose my life i don't care because i need to i deserve punishment anyway so they're healing all these to really um, love themselves completely. So what does their higher self want you to know? Ah! Let's see if I can do a better shuffle than that. <laughs> their higher self wants you to know that um, this person needs some space right now. Know that they are thinking about you. Right, this person has already written a letter they have some flowers but they're absolutely stressed out right now but even in that being stressed out state they're still thinking about you so know that they just need space have not forgotten you they just need space to heal and reflect right they're reflecting on the ways that they were codependent they're thinking about um their addictions these are the things that they're facing head on their toxic relationships they need to sort all that out and that's what they're doing right now they want you to know that the third party knows about you. So it looks like there's been some kind of um, communication that happened there. The third party knows of your existence. They also want you to know that um, they're healing. They're healing and they're looking forward to reconciliation because this is the Six of Cups card, right? So they want you to know they're looking forward to reconciliation, but they need to heal first. Um, they want you to know, they want to know if they can work things out. This is what they're uncertain about. Um, can we work things out? But you know what? As I said before, they should do the right thing whether or not you guys can work out. If an apology is owed, an apology is owed. You don't come and say the apology just to facilitate some reconciliation. No, that's not how it goes. You do it because it's the right thing. Whatever the person decides to do after that, well, whatever. But you do it because it's the right thing right but they want to know if they can work things out because they really want they are in love we have six here we have six here and we have six here so six 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 that's positive movement forward that could also be temptation too <laughs> yeah they're really stepping into their spiritual strength because they know they have to take charge of their life right and they want to take a leap of, of faith they want to take a chance on this love but they need to heal first for your benefit and for their benefit but know that you are their shining star. Nothing compares to you. No star, no star in the sky, no galaxy compares to you. You're it. You're it for this person and they want to heal um, this connection. Okay? So based on these energies we're seeing here, what can we expect will be their actions towards you by the end of April? Okay, I see a queen of pentacles in reverse. So that's a karmic energy. I see an ace of swords in reverse. <laughs> Gemini Libra Aquarius energy um, this is a Capricorn I see a king of pentacles in reverse oh the Taurus and I see judgment so what am I seeing here I think your person is going to be focused heavily on their finances okay for some reason okay I guess I think there's some kind of financial stability here but if your person um, is in some kind of karmic connection if they're married because I'm seeing a couple here, know that they're going to be wide awake and seeing things clearly. Um, let me pull some cards. Spirit, why you have this queen of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, your person's going to be single. 
um, they're gonna get the singlehood from this karmic connection but they're not coming forward to speak their truth why I re I'm really getting something financial yeah they feel like they can't walk away from a particular situation right now even though you are their counterpart because they don't want a drama <laughs> and they're establishing boundaries in their life they're working on themselves yeah they're not st ready to step into that emperor energy just yet let's see what is this about they're healing they're healing they're healing they're, st they're saying that this thing with the karmic is over but it's like they're still stuck so they can't speak just yet what's this king of pentacles doing he's having some kind of epiphany and he wants to speak his truth so he's saying things clearly here but there's a lot of drama in your person's life know that there's a lot of drama i think they spoke their truth about their love but there's a lot of drama that's happening right now this person is not going to be able to come forward and speak any kind of truth to you what's this judgment card but they're awake huh they're seeing things clearly they just can't speak to you um, and it's because of some kind of karmic energy that they decided they're no longer putting in the effort. Um, yeah, they, 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 they took matters into their own hand and expressed their emotions. And because of that, something in their life is over. But they can't make a move. Maybe it could be quarantine. I don't know. So know that there's something in their life that's over. But it's like they can't move away from it just yet. And I think it's quarantine. <laughs> My gosh, the irony of this thing. Just when you want to make a move, that's when you can't move. Okay. So anyway, whilst they are stuck, like literally, um, what do you need to be doing? What do you need to be doing? You need to be nurturing your damn self. <laughs> I love how spirit comes through. We have Mother Mary. Nurturing your damn self. That's what you need to be doing. Um, you don't even worry about this person. They have to nurture themselves. They have to self-soothe. And you have to nurture your damn self. Let me read from the book, man. <laughs> I love, hey, listen. Spirit gives it to you raw. Nurture yourself. You don't worry about this person. Nurture your damn self. All right. Card number 54. Well, it's not number card number 54. It's on page number 54. And 54 reduced to 9. So that's a focus about yourself. Right? That's, that's um, hermit energy. Right? These pages. The, pa the page numbers are always so revealing. Right. It says Mother Mary. All right. So all that lovely feminine energy, um, you give it to yourself. You've given a lot of yourself lately and now it's time to give something to yourself. You've drawn this card because you need to nurture yourself. This means taking care of your body through sleep, mm -hmm. detoxification and exercise people. <laughs> exercise. It also means taking care of your needs as you would for others. To have more energy, abundance, peace, purpose and everything you desire, nurture yourself. Additional messages for this card is balance giving to others with receiving for yourself honor your inner voice get some rest right take care of your body nurture your inner child your life purpose involves helping children mother mary is with you helping and guiding you mother mary is the beloved mother of jesus who is renowned for her purity and compassion mary helps children including our inner children and caretakes of children you can ask mother mary for a divine assignment to help children as your life works so it's time to nurture yourself you've been nurturing everybody spirit saying eh it's time for yourself now all right all right guys this was your message i hope that helped you please like share subscribe um, i love your comments down below i always try to respond to as much comments as possible and um if you can go a step further and click on any of the ads i play during this reading that's great energy exchange, okay? All right, guys, take care. Bye.